verses 1. Hey, you are time to end up so many. Friend, Matthew chapter 28, man, today, we are just celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mana, he is no longer in the tomb. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jesus has risen. Mungu kama Yesu mwenyewe, asha afufuka. Leo tunakumbuka Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo gumu ya msalaba jameni ikapate kutua juu ya ile biashara ya kwako. Hili ambayo kitazama unaona kweli hii ni kama inaisha. Unapotazama leo yako unaona ya kamba amna tena matumaini. Jana wa leo pokea matumaini mapya ndani ya Kristo Yesu maana yeye asha fufuka. Ayumo tena kaburini haleluya. Maana wayaudi walipomkamata kumsubishia kisha kumwekwa kwa kaburi walikuwa wanafikiria hiyo ndio mwisho walikuwa wanafikiria hiyo ndio mwisho lakini yeye mwenyewe Yesu Kristo ukiangalia Matthew 27 from verse 62 tunaona mahali pale alikuwa ashatangaza ya kwamba alikuwa ameshatangaza ya kwamba atafufuka hata siku ya pili ndio iliyo baada ya maandaliyo wakuu wa makuani na mafarisayo wakakusanyika wakamkusanyia wakamkusanyikia Pilato makuu wakuu wa makuani pamoja na Farisayo wakuu wa makuani pamoja na Farisayo wakamkusanyikia Pilato wakasema Bwana sasa sikia wayaudi pamoja na Farisayo walipokumbuka aya manana sasa wakawa na kikao wakakumbuka na wote kwa pamoja wakaenda kwa Pilato wakamwambia ya kwamba hebu sikia from Farsis 63 wakasema Bwana tumekumbuka kwamba yule mchanja hata Yesu wetu mkomozi wetu walikuwa wamembandika machina sasa wanaanza kumuita mjanja sasa wakasema kwamba Bwana tumekumbuka kwamba yule mchanja alisema alipokuwa ndani hai baada ya siku tatu nitafufuka basi amuru kwamba kaburi lindwe Salama hata siku ya tatu. Haleluya. Sasa makuani pamoja na mafarisayo. Wakamuita mwana wa mungu mjanja. Awa kutambua yesu ni mwana wa mungu. Wakasao ya kwamba anayo, uwe, anayo uweza. Anayo nguvu. Na alicho kinena. Na kwamba alikuwa na wabimitishia ya kwamba alitateleka. Kwa hivyo sasa mana. Wao makuani pamoja na mafarisayo kapilato wakamwambia kwamba kaburi ilindwe paka siku ya tatu bwana yesu asifiwe basi amuru kwamba kaburi lilindwe salama hata siku ya tatu wasije wanafunzi wake wakamuiba na kumwambia na kuwaambia watu wa, eh, na kuwaambia watu amefufuka katika wafu hebu neni venye wajaudi venye eh, eh, mafarisayo na wayahudi walivyokuwa na akili akili ambao haikuwa na kiungu ndani hawakuwa wanaamini ya kwamba Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu na kuna uwezo wa kufufuka na ndio maana wanamuita mchanja na maana alisema alipokuwa ngali hai ya kwamba atakufa na siku ya tatu atafufuka kwa hivyo hayo maneno walikuwa na yani walikuwa wanajaribu kuya yani kuya yani ni kama kuya hawakuwa wanayaamini hawakuwa wanaamini ya kwamba Yesu mwana wa Mungu kile alichotangaza ni kwamba kitatimia kwa hivyo wakaambia Pilato kwamba aamuru kaburi na hili lindwe wanafunzi wake Yesu Kristo wasije wakaja usiku kumuiba kisha waambie watu amefufuka Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na tunaona ya kwamba inasema wakamwambia na eh, wasije wanafunzi wake wakamuiba na kuambia watu wamefufuka katika wafu na udanganyifu wa mwisho utapita wa kwanza. Pilato akawaambia mna na askari. Pilato akawaambia mna askari. Nendeni mkalinde salama kadri mjuavyo. Nendeni mkalinde kaburi kadri mjuavyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Akawaambia endeni mkalinde kaburi kadri mwezavyo maana mnao walizi ama mnao askari. Wakaenda wakalinda kaburi wakaenda wakalinda kaburi wakalinda kaburi salama kwa kulitia lile jiwe muhuri pamoja na wale 
askari walinzi bwana yesu asifiwe sana ninao ripoti kwa ajili yako kanisa ya pamba vile walivyo mweka yesu wetu kaburini kisha wakaweka askari ama ulinzi kuweka kumweka kwa kaburi kuweka jiwe luku kwa katika mlango wa kaburi kuachilia walinzi na ili walinde kaburi kadri wajuwajo haikuzuia mwana wa Mungu kufufuka bwana Yesu asifiwe tumpe Yesu shamba maana yeye ni mshindi tumshangilie Yesu maana yeye ni mshindi walinzi wa kaburi kuweka jiwe kwa mlango haikuzuia mwana wa Mungu kufufuka bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo katika maisha unayoishi kama Kristo jua ya kwamba wewe ni saidi ya mshindi haijalishi hali unayopitia haijalishi leo yako iko vipi kuna Yesu aliyeshinda kifo mauti na atakuwezesha kuwa mshindi katika maisha yako haijalishi wanapotea mambo yapi haijalishi wanapokaa chini kukuotea mapaya haijalishi wanasema nini juu ya maisha yako yupo Yesu aliyeshinda kaburi hata wewe wewe ni saidi ya mshindi maana utashinda hali na mambo ambayo yanakusonga katika maisha bwana Yesu asifiwe sana e, chapter 28 kwa ufupi ufupi chapter 28 mwenye amefika alisomea from verse 1 ama unaniambia iko wapi hapana hapo una sisi kwa naniambia fasi jisome maana najua wengi wenu wameanza kusikia hapana jisome kwa kwa ufupi mfupi mtupatie masikio less than 20 minutes i will be off i will be okay maana watoto washamaliza kila kitu because leo ni kuwakani ni kutazama na kuangalia na kujua vile Yesu Kristo alivyofanya siku ya leo because eh, 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 Matthew chapter 28 inatueleze, inatuelezea vile kulivyofanyika baada ya Wayahudi kumweka katika kaburi na leo siku ya kukumbuka na tutakumbuka kusherehekea tutasherehekea kufufuka kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo maana yeye ameshafufuka kwa hiyo it we are just remember we are just celebrate Yesu wetu ameshafufuka The Bible says after the Sabbath at the dawn on the first day of the week after the Sabbath of the day on the first day of the week of the first day of the week men the marker and the other men went to look uh, at the tomb yes there was a violent earthquake there was a violent earthquake kukawa for the an angel of the lord came down from the heaven and going to the tomb rolled back the stone and sat on it first three his appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow first four the cats were so afraid of him that they shook and uh, be- became uh, like a dead man the angel said to woman do, uh, do not be afraid <laughs> The angel said to woman Do not be afraid for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified he has not uh, not here he is risen just as he said come and see the, uh, the place where he, he, he lies then come quickly pick up pick up Mtu yote anaenda usoni hiyo misali maana misa yenyewe inatudhibitishia la kwamba Yesu Kristo alimo tena kaburini Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na sitarudia chukua kalamu yako na karatasi uandike maana kuna alama ambazo zinaonyesha Yesu Kristo ashafufuka things that proves Jesus as uh, Jesus rose from the dead kuna mambo ambayo ni thibitisho things that proves Jesus has risen from the dead. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mambo ambayo ni thibitisho ama ni alama za kutuonyesha, kutuhakikishia kama kanisa ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ashafufuka ama Yesu Kristo alifufuka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mambo ambayo ni thibitisho kwetu kama kanisa ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ashafufuka.
kufuka bwana Yesu asifiwe sana jambo la kwanza ukiangalia Luke chapter 24 verse 5 in their flight the woman bowed down with their faces to the ground but the man said to them sasa si yule yule malaika wa bwana why do you look for the living among the dead why are you looking why are you looking the living among the dead maana kulipa kwa mazuka bibi naye twambia kwamba men magdalene na men wenzake walikuwa wa kwanza kufika pale kaburini na walipoenda mahali pale tunaona kwamba malaika wa Mungu alie shuka ama malaika wa Mungu aliyepingirisha ile jiwe na kunikalia sasa hawa kina maana walipofika mahali pale aliwauliza kwa nini mwatafuta aliye hai kati ya wao sasa hiyo ni alama ya kwamba ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alifufuka ama Yesu Kristo ashafufuka why are you looking the living among the dead look 24 verses 5 Why do you look for Anna? Why are you Anna? why are you looking the living and uh, the living among the dead? Sasa hiyo ni jambo la kwanza inaonyesha ya kwamba wao walikuwa wanamtafuta kati ya yani kati ya wafu. Ila hali yeye alikuwa shafufuka. Vile alivyokuwa ametangaza kulingana na Matthew 27:62 
there must be spiritual transformation. Yes, Christo, aliye kufa na kufufuka, jameni, uwisho, ama mambo ya kiro, yani, we need to be transformed spiritually. Wana yesu asikio sana. There must be spiritual transformation in the life of whoever says ya kwamba ameokoka. Wana yesu asikio sana. Kwa uwe mama ya nasema, ame kufa na kufufuka, na bwana wetu Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu asifiwe sana there must be spiritual transformation andika mahali 2nd Corinthians chapter 7 verses 2 2nd Corinthians 2nd Corinthians 5 17 there must be spiritual transformation Second Corinthians. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new, he is a new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone is in Christ, Christ ambaye leo tunakumbuka kufufuka pake, whoever is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. Ama is a new preacher, Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hello. Hello. Hebu mungusa kidogo. Sio sana ni kidogo. Mungusa tu kidogo. Kidogo tu. Mungusa kidogo. Ngeukeo hiyo mwingine ni kama huyu hajasikia. Mungusa tu kidogo. Mujulie ha. Sadeni sana. Jameni Mungu atusaidie sana. There is there therefore if anyone is in Christ there is a new creation. All things have passed away. And look, new things have come. Praise the name of the Lord. You need a day, you want Daniel to say yes. Maybe not for me, a pama. Make you be kitchen. Mana, yes, of Christo. I live for where Pacatina Kaburi, Nasibia Tatra of Fuka. I got for now, Guam on a Guam, Kama Kalisa. Nisibia. kuonekana bwana Yesu asifiwe utuakane mambo ya zamani haifai kuchifuka kuchipuka katika maisha ya Mkristo aliyekufa na kufufuka na Kristo na leo tunasherehekea ushindi wa Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hiyo mambo ya kale maana the old has gone the new has the old has gone wakati Yesu Kristo alipo kufa msalabani akawekwa kwa kaburi na siku ya tatu akafufuka mambo ya zamani ama mambo ya kale hayafai kuonekana katika maisha ya Mkristo maana the old has gone and the new has come bwana Yesu asifiwe sana maana Yesu Kristo alipofufuka alifufuka na akakuja na ushindi akakuja na mambo mapya ambayo kwako na kwangu yanafaa kuonekana bwana Yesu asifiwe sana maana kama mkristo uwezi uwezi ukasema ya kwamba you are a new creature ila hali hold things are being seen in your life mambo ya kale yanaonekana utu wa zamani unaonekana ndani yako utu wa utu wa zamani unaonekana ila hali unachipuka unafanya kazi katika maisha yako jameni vile ambavyo Yesu Kristo alikufa na akasema ya kwamba ya kale yamekwisha mapya yamekuja jameni fikira mawazo yetu yanafaa kubadilika tunafaa kuweka kando utu wa kale utu wa kale usije ukaonekana ndani yetu utu wa kale usije unaonekana ukifanya kazi ndani ya Mkristo ambaye anasema hii e, oh she is a new picture bwana Yesu asifiwe sana jameni Mungu atusaidie sana na ili utu wa kale usitipuke ndani ya Wakristo wanaosema la kwa Mkristo ambaye anasema ya kwamba amekufa na kufufuka na Yesu Kristo Utu wa kale usije ukaonekana maana sisi tulipokea uzima wa milele kupitia kwa kifo cha Bwana yetu Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ya kale yakaisha mapya yakaja ya kwa hivyo neema ya Mungu ikatutoshe tunapokumbuka kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo tukamu
elewa ya kwamba nguvu ya msalaba iliyofufua Yesu Kristo nguvu za Bwana nguvu za Mungu zilipofanya mwana wa Mungu kufufuka hivyo ndivyo mambo ya kwako yatapata nguvu yatapata mwelekeo mpya maana Yesu wetu ni mshindi bwana Yesu asifiwe sana there must be a renewal of our minds and thoughts Yesu Kristo aliyekufa msalabani maana tumeambiwa kwamba there must be a spiritual transformation may the lord go on with us akapate ku transform akapate ku renew our thoughts and minds vile ambavyo unamfikiria vile ambavyo unafikiria kwa mambo ya Mungu vile na wazo lako yanavyowaza kwa mambo ya kiungu yakapate kuwa renewed mambo ya hapo kapate kuwa renewed in your mind and thoughts je unapofikiria unapowaza mambo ya Mungu wewe unawaza vipi unapofikiria mambo ya huyu Mungu tunayotumikia unapofikiria juu ya huyu Yesu ambaye alishinda kifo mauti sijui fikira yako mawazo yako yako vipi maana your thoughts and minds your mind and thoughts must be, must be renewed ukiangalia the eh, romans ukiangalia the eh, romans chapter 12 Romans chapter 12 if I'm not in spotting. Yeah, must be renewed our minds and thoughts. Hiyo ni point ya ngapi? Unaoandika ni ya 10 na ngapi? Ni ya 10 na ngapi? Hapana, kule nyuma ni ya 10 na ngapi? Kati 13. Tuko point ya ngapi? Alama ni yangapi sasa tunaenda yangapi? Wow. Sina wewe ukiongelea cho uongee ndebeni. Just imagine kama ingekuwa wewe ungeisi namna gani. Jiwekange kwa kiatu ya mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hello. Hebu munguze na muambie tu kama ingekuwa wewe ungeisi namna gani. Tuko point ya 10 na ngapi? Point ya Niofanya mjini maana huko juma ni kama area ni kama network ina inapotea there must be a supernatural power alama ya ile guys supernatural power nipatie john 2019 this that proves jesus rose from death ya kwanza tulisoma why are you looking the living among the dead There must be supernatural transformation. Kawapia 2 Corinthians 5:17. The Lord has gone, the new has come. Praise the name of the Lord. Utu akale au fai kuonekana kwako kama mukristo. Utu akale mambo ya kale au fai kuonekana kwako maana msalabani yote yalikwisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Utu akale au fai kuonekana ukitukuka ndani ya maisha ya mukristo anayesema yeye ameokoka haleluya there must be renew of our minds and thoughts ya ile there is a supernatural power supernatural power nguvu isiyo ya kawaida uweza usio wa kawaida sasa nikumalizia uweza ya ile supernatural there must be a supernatural power john 20 verse 19 john 20 19 In the evening in the evening of that first day of the week the disciples were gathered together with the doors closed because of uh, because of their fear of the Jews then Jesus came stood among them and said to them peace to you peace to you in the evening of the first day of the week The disciples were gathered together with the doors closed. Tunaona wakati huu wanafunzi wa Yesu maana kubwa wao mwalimu wao ambaye ni Yesu Kristo alipokamatwa akawepa katika gereza baada ya gereza wakamsurubisha baada ya kusurubishwa wakamweka kwa kaburi tunaona ya kwamba sasa wamebaki kubwa kwamba ni Yesu Kristo. Tunaona kwamba maana ile woga walikuwa nao. Wakaenda wakaunganika. They gather together. With the mali ambapo katika nyumba walie walipoenda ku, kuingia. Biblia inatuambia kwamba the doors were closed because of the fear 
of the Jews. Walikuwa wanaofia Wayahudi. Maana uenda fikira mawazo yao. Walikuwa wanafikiria na wanaona kile walichomfanyia Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Ndivyo ama kuna uwezekano au kuna uwezekano hata na wao wakamate. Ndio naona kwamba walienda na wakajifungia kwa nyumba. They gathered together with the doors closed. Na kwa sababu nimeambia alama ya ile at the fourth point So the challenge is that you are passing, my brother, my sister. May the power of God be upon you. May the power of the God be the power of the Lord be upon you. Matthew 28, verses 9. Matthew 28, verses 9 in a sermon. Natazama, Yesu akakutana nao, akisema salamu. Wakakaribia, wakamshika miguu, wakakushududia. Kisha Yesu akawambia kusiogope. Awa ni wale, akina mama Mary, Magdalene na Mary, mwenzake. Walipo kukaribia Yesu, wale kushika miguu, wakakushududia, wana Yesu asifie sana. Wakati wapao kanisa tunakubuka kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo, tunafaa kuelewa. Tunafaa kudumisha ibada katika mioyo yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tunafaa kudumisha ibada katika mioyo yetu. Maana walipomuona Yesu, Biblia inatuambia kwamba walimkaribia, wakamshika na wakamshuhudia Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakamshuhudia, wakamshuhudia. Mungu atusaidie sana kama kanisa la Bwana. Tudumishe ibada, tudumishe ibada kwa budumu mungu katika maisha yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Maana Mungu tunayeabudu hayumo tena. Yesu Kristo tunayeabudu. Yesu Kristo ambaye twatolea ibada ayumo tena kaburini mbali ashafufuka na meketi mkono wa kuno wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Jameni neema Mungu ikatutoshe na tukapate kuwa na ibada katika mioyo yetu. Kwa wakati wote kuwa na ibada katika mioyo yetu. Matthew 28:10. Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake wasiogope. Yesu Kristo alipo watokelezea wanafunzi wake aliwaambia kusiogope. Kwa hivyo nami mtana walio na kuambia usiogope. Hali unayopitia usiogope unaye Mungu mkuu. Yesu Kristo aliyeshinda kifo mauti. Yesu Kristo aliyeshinda kifo mauti. 
hata kuwezeshe na wewe utakuwa saidi ya kushinde Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Maana Mungu tunayeabudu ni Mungu mkuu. Mungu tunayeabudu ni Mungu mkuu tusimame.